Let's look at how publishing and versioning works in SAP Enable Now. It's actually very elegant and efficient, but it does require some explanation. Let's say we have an author who's creating a new simulation called Entering a Sales Order. They record the simulation and save it to the server as version 1. Later, the author edits the simulation, creating version 2. This is reviewed and approved, so they publish the simulation. As soon as the simulation is published, it's visible to learners. However, what's important to note here is that the author is actually publishing the latest version, version 2 of the simulation. The version is flagged as published and not the overall simulation project. Why this is important is that the author can now go back to the simulation producer, start editing it again, make some changes, save it to the server as version 3, make more changes, save it as version 4, 5, 6, and so on, but the learner won't see any of these changes, even though the author's changing the same single object in the work area. This is because learners will only ever see the published version. It doesn't matter how many versions the author creates, or how long the simulation is being reworked for, days, months, or even years, none of this will have any impact whatsoever on what's visible to the learner. Now let's assume that all of the author's edits, all of the way up to version 8, are finally approved and they republish the simulation. As far as the author's concerned, they're just publishing the simulation object, but again, what this actually does is publishes the latest version, making this version visible to learners. Note that now only version 8 is visible to the learner as this is the only version that has the published tag set. This is an important point. Only one version of a content object at a time can have the published tag set. There's one additional consideration here related to this. If it turns out that the author jumped the gun on releasing their changes and publishing version 8, say those changes were to support a system change that was supposed to go in at the same time but didn't, or was backed out, the author can go and make version 2 the published version again by flagging this version as published in Manager. Once they do this, the learner will only see version 2 again. But most importantly, none of the author's other changes are lost. Versions 3 to 8 still exist in the work area and haven't really been backed out. All that's changed is which version the learner can see. In fact, the author could set any of the 8 versions to published even if that version had never previously been published. So if they decide that version 5 is actually good and they want learners to see that, they can go into Manager and set version 5 to published. And when the system changes that were previously cancelled finally do go in, the author can republish the simulation object again and the latest version, version 8, will be the one that's visible to learners again. So that's how publishing works and how versions play into this. The key points are... 1. When an author publishes a content object, they're really publishing the latest version of that object. 2. Only one version of an object can be published at a time. And 3. Learners will only ever see the published version of a content object.